Welcome back everybody. We've got a wedge review video for you today. We're going to take a close look and test the Mizuno ES21 wedge. So a very different looking wedge. It's a, it's, it's a nice looking wedge from the, from the plane position. From the back, it is very, very different. Bit of technology to talk about, which we will obviously go through. We're going to test it on track man at a few different yards and also take it onto the grass. Okay, so ES21, there's a couple of models, ES21 and the ES21W, which stands for a wide sole. And that's the one I've got in my hands today. It's 56 degree, 14 degree bounce, bounce in a wide sole option. So talk a little bit of technology, We've got the typical Mizuno grain flow forged head. So obviously we're going to expect some really good feel through this particular wedge itself on the strikes. Big talking point here though is the center of gravity, which is sort of identified with this little badge in the back of the uh, wedge itself. So very precisely centered and slightly higher center of gravity is what Mizuno is saying. And the reason or the way they can get that centralness is through all this sort of bulkiness, what you see on the back, which sometimes I think if you sit a wedge in a rack in a shop and you look to that, you go, oh God, that's a bit of a lumpy looking thing. But then when you pop it into that playing position, it's a really nice looking wedge. It's a great shape and you don't see all those bumps and, and chunkiness of which, which you do see on the back. So I think you've definitely, if you're going to look at a wedge, is, is make sure you look at it in its playing position because it is very different to what you would see on the back. The reason all those weights are there is to move that center of gravity and get it as precise as it possibly can for ultimate control um, of sort of spin and launch and everything like that, which you're going to want on these sort of touch shots around the green. So I'm setting myself off 60 yards, a little sort of pitch first. We've obviously got premium balls as always. We're just going to hit a few 60 yarders and see how it reacts. We've got on the, on the practice facility facility on track man at 60 yards so as I say down by the golf ball it looks great it, it's you know it's, it sort of points up into that slight high toe section we've got a grey uh, area where the grooves are then framed by that uh, blacky gloss sort of finish that's a really nice sort of feel that I've just touched that a little bit to the right there is that going to get up Ooh, just a little bit of a weak first one there but yeah the feel off that was was really good very soft Yeah, it feels really good. And the other sort of talking point as well with this center of gravity uh, positioning is you're going to see that ball sort of come out slightly lower. So with that slightly higher CG placement, you typically on a wedge, you're going to strike it quite low in the club face. So when you're striking it below or lower than that CG placement, the ball will typically come out a little bit lower, but then it packs it with a little bit of spin. Think about with the drive. If we hit that low strike on the driver, we tend to see a low launch, but then a high spin, which for a driver is inefficient, isn't it, in terms of... Um, sort of optimizing distance but with a wedge we want to try and pack that spin for ultimate control those little shots in and around the green really like how that ball comes out that little bit low you can just see it'll pop skip and just pull up quite nicely it's that low as i say i've always grown up playing that shot that sort of low bump couple of bounces then just pulls up this that spin on that last one six and a half thousand which is enough for this sort of 60 yard shot obviously the key elements of generating spin is is sort of speed isn't it the more speed you put into it the really the more spin you can produce there's a little bit of a firmer one that just fly it all the way up there see if that can get a bit of grab on that yeah just tricking off that back edge right okay so just move myself out 20 more yards so in that 80 yard area. So just to see a slightly more fuller swing. That was a nice sort of crisp strike. I just flown just past that flag, but stopping pretty quickly. So, I mean, the sound off that is, is typically gonna find from a Mizuno uh, golf club, you know, that sort of four soft feel, it feels fantastic. I mean, just sort of talk a little bit, again, going back to that center of gravity placement and how they can get that in that position. So inside the head, they've got like a little hollow section in the heel. So typically with a wedge, always has a, a longer hosel. So obviously there's more weight through that length of the hosel, so that pulls CG into the heel. So what they've done here is made it a slightly hollow head in the heel section of the golf club, reposition that weight what we can see physically at the back with that slightly bulkier top back toe positioning of that weight is again going to pull that that center gravity away from that heel back into that very central position yeah and again really nice 
sort of both like feel the sound the feedback of that is superb that's quite a nice little shot into that flag so the other aspect we've got here is quad cut grooves so cnc precise milled uh, grooves with a little bit of boring infused into the actual head so obviously just trying to really generate as much grip and as much contact that golf ball as they physically can it's got like a water dispersion sort of uh, technology so again trying to disperse water away to again keep that maximum friction between the the ball and the club head more so for probably those uh, dewy mornings or maybe just coming out of the rough a little bit a little bit damper possibly just helps to um again it's just keeping that spin up as much as possible as possible just stopping those drop-offs of spin yeah and i mean this is as i say this is the wide sole uh, version so that shouldn't be far away yeah that's a nice shot oh just pulling that one back fractionally so this is the wide sole version so maybe this this type of wedge is more suited for a golf who's maybe a little bit steeper on that golf ball maybe a bit of what sometimes you call as a digger of the golf ball so that side sort of wider sole will just help that turf interaction getting that club to come back out of that turf um, and maybe then if you're um, maybe playing on a lynx golf course or the cold golf course a little bit drier maybe a little bit shallower you possibly then might go into sort of more of the standards sort of version obviously then you've got different um, bounces to look at and obviously a lot of loft options as well. So loft availability in the standard sole comes from a 54 degree all the way up to a 62 including every single loft so basically 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62 which is unlike I think it's only Mizuno actually do that offering, which is very, very um, intense, isn't it? There's a lot of options there. So you can really dial in this gapping of your wedges. So you're not having to sort of bend loft to try and suit, to slot into a maybe your current set you've got in the bag. In the wide sole version, just um, going from a 54 to a 60. Uh, so there's no 61 or 62, but again, they're covering every single loft from that uh, 54 through to the 60. So a lot of options. Okay, so now into uh, 100 yards. So a little bit more of a fuller, not a flat out one, but a little bit more of a fuller 56 degree for me. See, that was a little bit heavy. That wasn't perfect. I, I can feel, obviously I'm, I'm hitting off a mat and I appreciate that. That's where I can feel like that, um, I still got quite a decent grip there. You can feel like that, that wide sole could really sort of help you out. It's still sort of done a desired distance there. The spin was still very good for that slightly fuller shot. You know, I appreciate off turf, it's going to be interacting and get in there, but I think that could hit. Obviously, if it's really soft, it is going to go in into, if you hit it heavy. But I think if it's a it's fairly sort of firmish turf, you can hit it, it'll slide through and you still get a decent connection. So ultimately a little bit more forgiving. That's a nice strike, that was much better. Beautiful flight on that, not too high and towering. Obviously, I'm hitting this a little bit harder to get to that 100 yards, but it's not really sort of high towering, really good strike, good, good control. So that spin there, you see just under that 10,000 mark, which I would typically sort of probably see for myself. Yeah, again, good strike. I can see it hitting that turf out on the range. I mean, obviously I'm not hitting to a proper green. Ooh, just got over that water, that one. Um, but you can see it just sort of land, hop, and just really sort of pull quite sharp. So plenty of control. Okay, so there we go, ES21. This was the wide sole version. There is obviously a single uh, or narrow sole version as well, standard option. So plenty of ones to go out there. I think it's a good looking wedge. Is it something that I would possibly go and jump out and buy? Possibly not. I, mean, I think I'm a little bit more of a traditionalist with a wedge. But having said that, it is better than what it looks like from the back. That's, I think, might just put people off actually trying it is just looking at the back of that wedge it's a bit chunky and a bit ugly in a way but it's it's so much better in that playing position okay so post comments down below let me know mizuno es21 mizuno wedges in fact are you uh, you know is that something that you go and try or consider you know there's a lot of big wedge brands out there maybe mizuno aren't up at the top there are they in terms of wedges but is it something that you would definitely put on your list to go and test yourself I'd love to hear your comments as always appreciate you watching the video if you have do share it around hit the like button more importantly subscribe if you haven't done so if you have appreciate the support and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon